What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Elkhart RV Dealer Show taking a look at some really amazing RVs. I filmed so many uniquely different RVs that you know you guys really have to check out some of the other videos I've done. I've really tried to focus on stuff that's new, innovative, and different as opposed to showing you the typical stuff you might see on an RV dealership lot. Today we're going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful Dynamax RV. This, this is a Super C. This thing has 450 horsepower and 1,250 pound-feet of torque and it's powered by a Cummins engine. So uh, yeah, this thing's pretty amazing. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is gonna be the LC3801. This thing is built on a Freightliner chassis. Huge chassis. I mean, this is about as semi-truck as you can get with one of these things. This is the DynaQuest XL. Absolutely gorgeous, full body paint. I know some people are going to be happy when they think full body paint and they see the full body paint graphics and stripes going around the side. This thing is gorgeous. Check this thing out. You got your outside entertainment system right here. Got your armless awnings. Huge 22 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. Michelin tires. Let's take a look inside of this thing and then we'll come back out and finish out the outside. So, you got your very brightly polished steps coming into this unit. Now this is a Super C. This is absolutely beautiful inside. Yeah, I think I've uh, found possibly our new favorite Super C floor plan. 1,250 pound-feet of torque, too. This thing's a beast. The tire pressure monitoring system on it televator this huge huge kind of like i guess you could use this as possibly a desk but yeah that's really awesome you have your sound bar below it you have your panoramic fireplace a little compact one but it still looks really nice over here you have your theater seating with nice little trays that are in front of you got some cabinet storage up here and some more right here then you got your cab over sleeping area Good spot for the kids. Let's look at the cab. So this has a JBL sound system. Really comfortable looking seats. You know the, the gauges and the displays and all this stuff on these big trucks don't look like they've changed much in a long time. They still use kind of an aftermarket radio system. It's going to be interesting whenever they start doing it like the, uh, the automotive truck manufacturers where they start making big infotainment screens and all of that just kind of built into the dash. But you have your display up top for all your camera angles and views and your rear view camera of course these are all air controlled seats very nice here's all your controls for your lighting everything else generator all of that stuff this is beautiful i love the trimming i love the lighting right here in the countertops very nice nice faucet single basin farm style sink Nice flip-up counter here at the end. Very nice cabinetry. Has a convection GE profile microwave. Induction cooktop as well, two burner, or two, um, I don't really know what you call it, two pad induction cooktop. Really nice soft closing drawers. They don't have the pricing of any of these units listed out here, so that's the reason why I haven't been going over pricing if you've been following the videos. Nice cabinetry. I love how easy they close. They have a different type of hinge mechanism, or at least a closing mechanism than you typically see. Look at that. They put a little scrubber brush right here as well. Full-size Samsung residential refrigerator. Coming back here. Got your sink over here as well. Nice solid surface countertop. A lot of drawers. Nice medicine cabinet and a smaller medicine cabinet to the left. Coming to the back. We'll take a look at the other side of the bathroom in a second. Lots of wardrobe space up here. Lots of wardrobe space. I mean, it's everywhere. Nice drawer. All soft closing. 
Nice little hanging area, motion detection light. Another one on this side. I'm guessing washer and dryer will be in there. A real quickly king size bed. Wireless charging for your phones. You have your 110 outlets as well. Nice headboard and a good size window back here. So you still get a lot of light coming in naturally. But take a look at the wood tones. Everything's all nice and bright. I love how everything looks in here. Then you have your Splendid washer and dryer, stackable units already in place. Very nice. This is super cool. What do you guys think? They've done a great job with this floor plan. Feels really nice and airy. I mean, from here, it actually feels like you're in a fifth wheel. You know, it gives you that upscale fifth wheel feel to it, especially with the lighter tones. Um, the materials in here all feel extremely high quality. I mean, everything feels really nice. So, you know, this is definitely the type of super C I could see our family spending time in. It'd be really nice. Maybe that could be the next journey of our channel, right? I know I do mainly towable reviews, but would you like to see maybe our next RV, perhaps not being a fifth wheel, going to something like this? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, let's check out the outside of this unit. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. Um, no pin box to look at, but we have these huge tires and wheels. That looks absolutely awesome. This, this full semi truck, that's what you're seeing here. Tank capacity is, it looks like 50 gallons per side. So you have 100 gallons worth of fuel between the two tanks. Under here, you got storage. More storage. More storage. Definitely got a lot of storage in this unit. Over here is your Aqua Hot water heater. Wow, that's a big water heater. And then over here, you got more storage. And then back there, you got more storage. Coming around the back. Sweetness, check this thing out. This is a 20,000 pound rated hitch. It's a three inch opening. And look how it's actually all framed out. It looks like three eighths inch thick steel. That's all been boxed and formed to make the hitch on this thing. That is absolutely an insanely huge hitch. That is crazy. All LED lighting, of course. Nice trim all the way across the back. Absolutely one of those RVs that if you, uh, <laughs> you're driving in, you're gonna get spotted on the road. People are gonna know that you have something special. More storage. More storage. A lot of storage in this unit. Right here is your wet bay. Got a hose retraction, you got a whole house water filtration, and a macerator. Very cool. Come this way. You have your Onan QD 8000 watt generator. That thing is huge. Let's see what's... More storage. And then take a look at this. It's a rack and pinion slide system. Very cool. Then under here are all of your electronics as well as your huge go power inverter. And I think that is the QC3000, the same one we installed inside of the fifth wheel. So you got a lot of power available if you're gonna be powering up things and running this, as would be expected of a, of a unit like this. Very, very cool. And on this one, it's probably gonna say 50 gallons as well. Yep, 50 gallons. And then there is your DEF your diesel exhaust fill. Very cool, this thing is a absolute beast. I mean, you can tell just by looking at the front of it, this thing is not built on a small chassis. This is the kind of thing that absolutely commands presence on the road whenever you're, you're driving it down the road. And really, it's a, uh, it's a really good platform. I mean, this is the kind of motorhome that we would get if we uh, wanted to get into motorhome RVing. There's some really nice aspects about it too. You know, just the fact that you can kind of get in and go, no hitching up or anything like that. But the, the thing about something like this is that you're probably gonna wanna tow a vehicle behind you. So you're gonna have to have, you know, a connection so you can tow a small car behind you and give you that capability of, you know, having a means of getting out and about whenever you're camping. If you just plan on going somewhere and staying at the resort, then something like this might be perfect for you. But if you plan on getting somewhere, you know, going exploring, things like that, then you're probably gonna wanna haul a small car behind you, which a lot of people do. Sometimes they'll haul a cargo trailer behind them with a car inside of it. But yeah, something like this is absolutely awesome. 
And again, if we ever got into uh, motorhome life, this would probably be the th type of thing we would look at. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again. Hold on a second. Dry weight, 26,610 pounds. Recreational vehicle, 39 foot, two inches long. The combined weight car. Okay, so the cargo capacity on this is actually 5,606 pounds. 20,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, axle weight rating, 12,000 pound front axle. Rear axle, 21,000 pound. Rides on 275, 80, 22.5 G rated tires. Very cool. Anyways, again, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.